What's up, guys? Me and Hunter are top events, and uh, if you see a title of this video, it's called "This Could Ruin Reptile Education." Yeah, this could ruin it if this succeeds. If this bill becomes a law, this will even be the end of my career, be the end of my programs I do, the end of my business. Yeah, so it'll be the end of everything that I do to make this business and stuff and reptile events. I love doing this show. I, I love doing this business. And I can't believe the government is just thinking ways to ruin this. And it's not just me. It's all other hotel keepers that's ruining. And including zoos and and also hotel education. Just think about that. Just think about it. I mean, this is going to ruin everything that I've been through to basically make this business. And yeah, this is going to be tough if, if, this, if this succeeds. This is going to be probably the end if this succeeds. This could ruin it. And I love educating people about reptiles. And I love educating people about animals. And I love animals. I mean, I love my cats too. <laughs> but anyway, but the animals I love the most are reptiles, spiders, centipedes, tarantulas. I love those animals. I love working with them. But it's sad, the fact they're gonna, they're, they might get taken away. They might, if this succeeds. If this succeeds, this will be the end of reptile events my business of me educating people about reptiles. And I just basically, you know, did a program for a school and they loved it. They love the program. And if this succeeds, I won't be able to do programs anymore. I, I won't be able to do programs in schools. I won't be able to do like shows or anything like that. If this succeeds, like, because they won't be able, I won't be able to get the animals that I need to educate people. This is terrible. I, I educate people for a reason. To get people's fear off of snakes. To get people's fear off of spiders. To understand what these animals are like. But the government doesn't understand that. All the government cares is about money. And I know they're trying to, like, you know, think of something to, like, get rid of these invasive animals. But this is not going to help anything. This is going to make it worse. Like, this is going to make it worse indeed. This is going to make it worse for uh, the retail hobbies. This is going to make it worse for zoos. This is going to make it worse for retail education and stuff. And, um, it's just going to be tough. For me, and even um, how to get through this and everything. So, this is a stressful thing to go through. You know how stressful it is to go through this kind of business? It's very stressful. But I love doing it. But I hate that I have to face these legal battles that have been going on, and this needs to stop. This really needs to stop. It really needs to. Like, this is not right. I mean, it wasn't right the first time. It still not is. This is still not right. This Lacey Act has to stop. If you, want, if you don't know what the Lacey Act is, let me tell you what it is. Basically, it works like this. Okay, so let's say if you have a cat or a dog and you bought that cat and bought that dog, but what if you found out that the cat or a dog was on a list that they are banned from importation? Meaning 
that if you move to another state, guess what happens? You're going to leave that animal behind. You cannot take it with you. That's just how the law works. Yes, that's how it works. You pay for that animal. And if you plan to move to another state, you can't take it with you. You can't. You just can't. That's just how it goes. No permits, no, not, not, not that, none of those permissions. You have to leave it behind. You have to surrender it if you move. The vets won't help you because they don't want to get in trouble. Um, no one is going to ever going to look after your reptiles if you decide to go, if you decide to, if you decide to move to their state and decide to have someone to look after them. Look after them. So, yeah. Yeah, your animals will be taken away. Your companions will be taken away. Yeah. Yeah, and this is very hard to talk about. This is very hard to talk about indeed. I mean, I love working animals. I love working for Talos, and I love these animals indeed. And I can't believe the government decided to do this. They think this will work and stop animal invasive problems. No, it it does it won't work because this bill makes it worse. What makes it worse is that it's a ruin reptile education, ruin the zoos, and ruin the hobbies of reptile. I support the hobbies. I support them. I even support reptile education. I support the zoos too, and. They've been succeeding pretty well with reptile breeding because they have to breed these reptiles in order to like get them to live longer and stuff. Because captivity is like the only thing to save these animals. And people think like the wild is gonna save them, but no, 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 no. It there's the, the wild is not gonna help. It it's not gonna help because we already know that. The wilds got destroyed by construction and pro uh, and uh, poachers and all that kind of stuff. And people ruining it, like with people throwing trash out in the forest and everything else like that. I mean, yeah. So yeah, the, the wild is not not safe anymore for animals. That's why us breeders have to get these animals bred and get them to live. A long healthy life and get people to edu and people educated by these animals and let them learn how it is and people have to be responsible for these animals it has nothing to do with being cool and people buy these animals for just being cool and what's the point of you buy what is the point of these people buying these animals huh what is the point of people buying these animals to just be cool what's the point hmm just be cool if that's the case, then there's no reason for you to own these animals. There's no, there's no point. There is no point for you to own those animals if you're just trying to be cool. There's no point. It's about responsibility. That's what it's about. And that's the problem with people these days. that They're not being responsible to animals. And this is what happens. This is why these bills keep on happening. And this is why we have to deal with this. Us reptile keepers, us breeders, us educators, us zookeepers, we have to deal with this. And it's really irritating. It's a really irritating thing to face. And it's just awful. It's just terrible. The fact we have to face through this, and it's, it's terrible. I'm a member of the AZA, you know, Associates, Zoos, and Aquariums. I'm a member of that. Yes, I am a member. I do help us support them and stuff. I actually pay for I pay for my subscription every year. And to hear this, to hear this, Lacey, it's a complete insult to the AZA. It's a complete insult to the reptile breeding. It's a complete insult to the hobby. And it's also a complete insult to reptile education. 
I mean, wow. Like, this just proves the government doesn't care about, edu doesn't care about education. Now, I'm pretty sure they're, one or senator is going to say, like, oh, we care about education. No, you don't. You don't care. All you care about money. You really think it's going to work? No. It's not going to work. It makes everything worse. This makes everything worse. I have to travel to places to make these, to educate these programs and bring my reptiles with me and show people what I like and everything and educate people about that and stuff. But hearing this, hearing this, after getting this regard from USRK and let me know this is going to happen if this succeeds. This makes me angry. This makes me mad. This makes me want to blame the government for this. This makes me blame the government. And I hate getting into politics. I really do. Even though I'm a conservative, but I hate getting into politics. I, I really do. I wish politics were not involved in our They should not be involved. They should leave them alone. They should leave that alone and let the reptile breeders deal with this. Let them deal with this and let the reptile educators deal with this. Let the zoos deal with this because <sighs> politics should not be involved with reptiles. They should not. Government should not be involved with them at all. They should really mind their own business. They should, but it looks like they're not. They're not. Like, this is definitely really going to ruin reptile education and ruin my chance of being a herpetologist. Like, really. But why would we do this? Just why? Why? I love educating people about this, about, the, about these animals. It's my career. It's my dream. But I can't believe you decide to do this. This makes no sense. Like, this makes no sense at all. This is very illogical for you to do this. So, do yourself a favor. If you're watching this, please contact your senators. Email them. Tell them about this. Go to the USRK website and copy that sample letter and use that letter to send to the uh, senators. Let them know this is not right. Let them know that this is going to ruin education. Indeed, it is going to ruin education. So, the good news is that this did not pass as a law. I'm glad. But I'm hoping it doesn't pass as a law. If it does pass, this will be goodbye for my business. And this will be goodbye for my rent house and stuff. I don't want to give up my rent house. I don't want to give up my animals. I don't want to give up my chances of the, like, you know, succeeding my career. I don't want to do that. Anyway, guys, I'm Hunter Ivy. Thanks for watching Retail Events, and I'll see you guys later. And donate to the USRK, and contact your senators about this. This will definitely help. So we need to, fit. we need to really get through this. We need to stop this. This needs to stop. It really does need to stop. So please, help support USRK and help call your senators and send those letters.